Hey guys, Ryan at JL Designs. This is going to be a quick update video on the Yamaha R7 Eliminator Kit. It is still coming out. It's been a long time, I know, and we're very sorry. We moved our machining from Southern California to Washington, along with many things I'm not going to bore you with. But first, to answer the big questions, when is it shipping? Um, this coming Friday, October 1st, we're going to get our first batch out. And then every week, we're going to just be shipping out as they're being made. So depending where you are on the back order list, you should be seeing it in the next three weeks. And I know it's almost end of writing season. And this was never our intention or plan. So we do apologize. So never in the history we have took this long. But we made good changes. And when we thought we were done, we ended up not liking it. So we put a little texture on the flat part and everyone's going to get $25 back per part so if you order that tail light and eliminator kit you're going to get 50 back if you ordered you know the eliminator kit you know you're going to get 25 back and we're doing free shipping to you guys so there's going to be a credit there for you guys we hope that helps out this is going to be worth the wait so stay tuned oh, i'm going to describe the product in the intro you saw all the pre-production r d stuff here we see the shiny billet aluminum piece. This has been milled down from a block of aluminum. This is no cheap stamped steel that's bent and you know just shipped very lightweight and you have to assemble. I mean, this is a bracket that it's one piece, um, the base, and then our swivel obviously is the second piece. The time designing around this, you can see it's a lot. We're dealing with three fairings that overlap it or right here butt up to it. This is the mounting, four mounting holes to the subframe. And we have this lower tab here that retains a mounting position for the stock undertail. Here's an image of the stock undertail mounting with all five push rivets and that one mounting to our bracket just to keep it snug and a tight fit. And you can see texture. We were playing around, we were playing with different textures because it was a larger piece and this straight angled wedge type look, honestly, it didn't appeal very well to myself. It looked like it would have like reflection. In my opinion, we have a lot of the fairings and smoothness under there. I preferred spending a little extra time and putting a, uh, a different texture to add some contrast down there. Um, underneath, this was something we had to add. It's, it is an extra step for us, but during R&D, the ideal spot to put that license plate light to illuminate the license plate was right where the subframe was. And instead of just moving it forward or back, uh, channeled a spot for the wires to keep the ideal location. And this tab that comes off the bracket, this was built out just enough to keep and maintain a sleek look and you can see the clearance here is so close as you can see there's a tab we had to extend on the bracket this is to fill in a gap originally when we did our first bracket when we installed it we're like whoa we could see a lot of light there's a big gap up there so to prevent any unwanted moisture dirt debris from flying up into your undertail we did build that as far as enough out where you don't have that gap. Here's an image where uh, we broke an in mill, uh, just running the texture at a certain speed, uh, just more delays. A uh, quick note, all the hardware, both for the base and the license plate hardware is black oxide to uh, match. All right, we've installed the swivel plate and the license plate. As you can see, here is a low position or the forward facing position. It's angled toward the front of the bike. This, the license plate light, isn't being used. And here's a back view of it. And here's rear facing, the more visible way where you do utilize that license plate light. I think I've covered everything about the bracket. We hope you love it. You can reach out to me. All my contact information is on my signature and my email. Thanks again for your patience and your business.